All right, here's an interesting thing. This stuff fascinates me, as you can tell. I get really excited about the science of pickleball. And we're trying to open people's eyes to a lot of the details that have never been shared. And I hope that this will catalyze other people to dig deeper and see how science can help us understand pickleball and play better and have more fun. So in this tip, we're gonna talk about RPMs. And in other tips, we've shared that top pickleball players in the world, yeah, they can hit top spin about 1400 to 1500 RPMs, revolutions per minute with top spin. That's the max. Tennis players, 4000 to 4500, three times more RPMs is not uncommon among top players. So what's interesting about this? We've already discussed it. Here's a different way to look at it. A pickleball court is 44 feet long, right? So how many times does the ball rotate around 360 degrees? How many times if it has 1400 RPMs or 1475 RPMs or 1450 or 1500? It's about 30 rotations along the distance of a 44 foot pickleball court. That means that every foot of the court, every 12 inches, the ball is only rotating about 70% of a full rotation or 0.7 rotations, not even three quarters of a rotation per foot. And this is why we can see that the flight of a ball combined with the rotations and the fact that pickleballs have holes in them, topspin has less impact on pickleball flight as compared to tennis. And that's a significant difference. Does it help a little bit to keep the ball dipping? Yes, but a pickleball has holes in it. A tennis ball does not. And therefore a tennis ball that spins with more RPMs is going to be seen dipping and landing in the court. Whereas a pickleball, it's actually hardly noticeable to the naked eye, although it will dip a bit at RPMs that 4.0 and 4.5 and 5.0 level players can create. Thanks for joining us.